you are an advocate for not only land conservation but animal conservation yeah. too like it seems i mean hit on that yeah i mean the conservation story in africa is absolutely wild like exactly, when you really yeah. dive in to what hunting does for and it, i mean you got to take into effect that too like how many different species of animals are in africa like you yep. can't it would be like if all the species in north america you could hunt in texas on one piece of property yeah like it is just absolutely wild the number of animals that are out there in africa and the the role that conservation through hunting has played in uh not only the number of species mm -hmm. and the uh money's raised for things like anti-poaching with the rhinos which we got to experience with a group uh, rhino 911 and oh, every, cool. everything that they do yeah so we got to dart rhinos out of the helicopters and they uh like it's a sad reality but they they have to do the horn trimmings on the rhinos that are out on these public reservations and things like that okay yeah because now there's no value to these poachers and so it's all it's like a, f a fingernail wow. it's just keratin the the rhino horn and so we'll go out and we'll dart them with money raised through hunting of old rhinos of of uh you know older uh, male animals that are out of their breeding age that money goes directly to uh conservation we go out and we dart these rhinos we trim their horns off put like antiseptic and all this this stuff on them to protect them they'll tag them uh, they'll give them injections and all these antibiotics and things like that and basically now that rhino that animal has no value to poachers and so now they're safe for at least for two years until their horn starts to grow back dang but yeah i mean like six inches of horn they're they're selling that stuff for like seventy five hundred thousand dollars on on the black market is what these people are getting and so it's it is a wild like that's an extreme case of conservation that thankfully especially in north america like we haven't had to get to because yeah. we don't have those kind of issues here right now but like that's the kind of stuff that they're facing over there in south africa and the extreme measures that they're having to take to protect something like the rhinos and elephants even and and some of these other just like amazing i mean truly like to see a rhino up close like that it's like a dinosaur like it, yeah. it was so cool to to be there and work on those animals and you know feel like you had some small part in protecting those yeah. things and helping them see another day but that's cool yeah it's it's awesome man. you're it's, passionate about it, i can tell yeah and it, it's just been something that i grew up doing my whole life i think it's with anything like once you get to know so much about a, a particular um hobby or event or whatever it is like the more you know about something the more that you tend to care about yeah. it 